Okay, I don't I don't really know how to save. Maybe maybe I'm not allowed to save right now. I don't know, whatever. Um don't know what the hell was the prompt for this, but I think I don't know who's gonna be at the store or the cafeteria. The infirmary could either be the creepy doctor or Yota. So let's go there. You again. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Oh, fuck yeah. I came here to hear your voice. Let's play with it. I wanted to hear your voice. My voice. Yes, you sound like Snufkin. I have no idea what that sounds like. And... Um... Don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? Oh, you're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Uh, sadly, I'm busy at the present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction, or is it? I don't think I'm gonna chase him. I don't think I'm <laughs> into that. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Maybe this button. Yes, this is the button. Okay, saved. Um, I will attend. Okay, so we got through the testing just fine. Let's start in Charisma then. Maybe there will be other other tests. We all have to stand up and sing solos today. Ah, oh, I'm nervous. Cool, 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 cool. His voice is beautiful. Oh, that was not beautiful. Fucking Oko-san. So talented. Charlie's leveled up. Nice. I wonder if there's like gonna be like a performance thing we have to do. Today is the Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year too. I think I'll go make a wish. Oh, festival time. Well, there's there are lots here already. Anybody I know? May mother stay healthy this year and may my stomach get better, Ryota. Oh, so obvious. What a sweet boy. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. God damn it, you hear me. Holy shit, how's it July already? Damn. Morning conference on 10th. Leave 30 minutes early. Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Nanaki. <laughs> Wednesday is garbage day, remember. It looks like our teacher is just completely forgetful. And has got a sleeping problem. He is basically me. Shows who will be granting my wish and how. Iwamine Shu. That's creepy. What should I wish for? I want to fucking rule the world from the shadows. <laughs> I wish to take the reins of power through clever schemes and rule the world from the shadows. Oh, is that hell? Oh, hello. Is that you, Theron? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Highly inappropriate. Should've just called her an Uber, dude. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home. <laughs> but we arrived eventually. To my cave. Your house is very rustic, Theron. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. What? Why? Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. Do you not have a home, dude? Is that why you can't ever sleep properly? And so he left a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today's an elective day, what should I do? I think we should- Wait, wisdom went up again without us having to do anything. That was weird. Let's keep doing charisma. Was 
that boosted up because we spent time with our teacher? I have no idea. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. I'm not super good with instruments, so I'm not sure what a timpani is. I, I feel like I've seen it before, but can't imagine it right now. What am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? It seems like it's a percussion instrument. Oh, I know what those are. Yeah. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. That's what we said last time. Theron. Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Fuck yeah. Success. I wonder if doing well in tests boosts stats or something. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. It's only been 40 minutes. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. Wow, are we gonna get a summer? Like, a summer function in this game? I thought it was just gonna be like a, a school, school year thing. I should help clean up the club room and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club! Munch, munch, munch. Oh, he's not saying coo. Okasan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is. Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans! <laughs> munch, munch. They're good. It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. Oh boy, he certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? I should join us, join it! This looks pretty good! Munch munch yum. And so we devour two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. Ah, oh. At least kidney stones aren't as painful for girls. As far as I'm aware. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter gathers bodies her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. <laughs> Oh shit! Get to hang out in the city! Oh, we're jogging through all the locales. What the fuck is that? Is that a, like, ha it's like a half slanted building? Ah, that was a good run! A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? <laughs> I must have wandered out of my usual stompy ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Oh, don't fail me now. Paleolithic homing instinct. <laughs> the sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Huh? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me. Also, they're not all pigeons. Squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Oh, it's a her. It looks a little vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. Damn! What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your chip. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. So thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Ozami. Well, thank you, Ozami. Oh, we don't get a picture for her? Oh, maybe it's because she's not a boy. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. <laughs> this is uh, not what I imagined her to be like from that music. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but... Once you've lost someone, you'll understand. Oh, okay. There's a far-off look in her eyes. 
such a tragic background story. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know what you're talking about. But at this rate, I might go home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get here there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is thirty kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following the traffic laws is part of my credo. <laughs> Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. <laughs> Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we put it along at the zombie's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> oh, this game. This game is weird. But I kind of like it a lot. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I had the chance. But reading this much is starting to wear me out. I'll get a job. Forget about it. Let's get a job. Maybe we'll find some extra characters or something. Yeah, that might be fun. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? Oh, it's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at no- Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara Kenzaboro. <laughs> I'm the owner of Toroimi Cafe. I'm Chow. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Chow. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you would be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. Oh, I'll be glad to! Gotta build some muscle. After all, I am a vitality girl. That's right! I shall be relying on you for this, this summer then, Miss Chow. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! Well, I'm glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. <laughs> tomorrow then, Miss Chow. Today's my first day working at Mr. Mr. Hara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Urushihara. Oh, well, that's not so hard. Kenzaboro? Is what? Kenzaboro. Yeah. Good morning, Miss Chow. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you here where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find anything or something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Oh, come now. It's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my hat. Excuse me? Oh, Ryota. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryota? Chow? What are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Chow? Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. Oh, working hard for you, Mom. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Ushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should do the job I was hired for. Give the job to Ryota. Uh, 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 I kind of want to give it to our bro, but I don't think he can move the boxes. I'm sure he'll be fine. I kind of want to hang out with this old dude. He seems kind of cool. You know what? To be completely honest, I would have just given this job to Ryota if it wasn't for this awesome piano music. Um, I'm sorry, Yota, but I really want to do this. Oh, don't worry about it, Chow. I've got a couple more places to check. Yeah, right on. Perhaps I 
Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Chow. All these humans coming in here, taking all our jobs. Taking all these birds' jobs. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryota. That's right. I don't think Ryota can lift boxes like I can. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Oh. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A budgie. I'm just get a budge... Budge ringar? But... I think... They're called budgies for short. Steps in the door. The first customer of my life. A young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some birdie who'd raise a few more flags and maybe a white peacock. Welcome! Would you like a bath? Or a meal? Wait, what kind of cafe is this? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Urashihara? I'll take Kenzaboro. Hey, wait just a minute now! Yes, a perfect delay reaction. <laughs> oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Chow, a regular customer. Ah, I'm something of an important figure here, you see? See those cards, see? 206 stamps, you see? Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was it with that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kanzai accent since I was a little girl. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Chalis, right? That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now? A new encounter in the little bird cage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. What a chill ass boss we got. I like that guy. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't, suppo aren't I supposed to be working? Shit, I wish I had a job like this. I stayed out on the town for too long, and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. <laughs> hey, human. Oh, shit, look at this. Look at this guy. What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to Pigeon Nations, don't you? I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. G Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart. <laughs> I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but Rockdowns I've just met all look the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chest threateningly. Dumb punks! Picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little. They're angry now. My hunter gather instincts can feel a fight coming. <laughs> Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Hell yeah, dude. Slam. Thud. Huh? The work of a moment. Some birdie flits forward, and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... A zombie? Oh, that was close, Chalice. Are you sure you should be out this late? I forgot her voice already. What the fu- Who are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing takoyaki lady. The dove collapses before the might of Azami's magnificent kick. So sorry, Zami, I let my guard down. Easy for kids to do. Life lesson. Always be prepared. Speak softly. And drive a Sherman tank. <laughs> She's so cool. I think I'm in love. Oh, um, Azami? I'm working at a cafe near here over the summer. Could I treat you to something sometime as thanks? Is that part of your creed, kid? Goodbye, me. Zami takes the pr uh, proffered? Oh, proffered. Okay, Zami takes the proffered flyer, mounts her trusty scooter, and puts off into the darkness. A heroic entrance and a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. She's so cool, dude. She's like so cool. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. 
invite. Oh god, I don't know how to pick. Kazuaki, Sakuya. I'm gonna take a good pass on this guy. I'm not too interested in his uh his hoity toitiness. Nageki san, Ryota's on the table. San's on the table. Kazuaki, our teacher. Hot stuff on the table. Nageki. Oh, Nageki. Wait, Nageki is from the library, right? Let's find out what he's all about. Since I've uh, since I uh, I think I've pretty much tried everybody else. I'll invite Nageki. He needs to get out more. Yeah. But I don't know if his address or phone number. I'd go look in the library if the school weren't already closed. Now that I think about it, I only know him as the depressed freshman who's always in the library. I'd like to know more about him, though he'd probably never tell me anything if I asked. Nah, yeah, going out is too much trouble. I think I'll have some udon and go to bed. Oh, I guess I made a bad choice. So if I don't, if I've never talked to a bird, then I can't go do these social things. I think I just messed out on a whole entire social event. Ah, I fucked up already. Ah, time sure flies when I'm in here. See y'all around, Kenzaboro. Ah. Hey, Chalice. Huh? Rabu, finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's <gasps> the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. So young men from Osaka can do it too. What? See y'all around. Good day to you, Rabu. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Chalice? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tonjiro left? Of course. Here you are. Oh, what is that? Mmm. Tonjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Mmm. By the way, Mr. Ush Urushihara? Yes? Mr. Rabu comes in here every day, right? Yes, he does. I wonder what he does. Is he a night nice security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He's generally out all night. He likes to come in here to relax before work. A budgie who works at night? There are those among us parents who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Hmm, I haven't met another careful driver. Oh, oh wait, are they related? Azami and Rabu? But she doesn't speak with a Kanzai accent. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. And I just realized I probably could have saved- Oh, wait. Wait, I was gonna say, I probably could have saved right before my decision on who to ask out to, um, the summer festival so I didn't have to miss the entire event. But I don't think I were allowed to save during choices. Thank you for everything, Miss Chalice. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Rushar. I think I'll be back here sometime as the customers. Y'all retiring early? Miss Chalice is a student, and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Doing the last half in one week? Uh, I reckon you do just fine. It's gonna feel really lonely around here without you, Chow. At least Ken's borrow ain't going nowhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city. An island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Oh, welcome! Azami, you came! I can't exactly refuse an invitation for my sweet little protege, now can I? When did I become your protege? Okay then. <laughs> Yay, have a seat please. Uh, Azami! Is that you? <gasps> Her expression suddenly heartens. 
It feels like the cafe is going to burst. It feels like one of those scenes where the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Oh no! D do you know each other? You might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? Sam, yeah. How do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him at any moment. Uh, Azami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu's a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. He doesn't concern you. What happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? What the fuck is going on? Blaster? I remember your sexy rapturous eyes back then. He used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a birdie on the night roads who didn't know how the name of Hosokawa Blaster. <laughs> Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us held <laughs> Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. We all knew that we would have gone there without a single traffic violation. <laughs> Since when do biker kings obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law When you ride, you ride on the inside. You're pretty famous for your strong ideals. Fighting with a soul as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero! But a hero doesn't run away. And you did! As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone! Done with the gang tales, on to the love story. Azami. I can tell I've hurt you, I'm sorry. But... Tension crackles in the air. Only Mr. Uroshihara remains exactly as he was when it all started. Slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So Mr. Rabi used to lead a bucker gang, and his real or fake name is Hosokawa Blaster. The entire studio, <laughs> the entire studio, <laughs> the entire, <laughs> the entire situation seems extremely out of place here. <laughs> Wait, I haven't seen- I haven't seen the name of Blaster. <laughs> haven't I seen the new Blaster around here somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? That's a little late for that. Six months of tea and a cake and you look at Mr. Fava Bean. But Mr. Fava Bean? <laughs> I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Azami subjects Mr. Fava Bean into a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Fava Bean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? <laughs> I should bring up. Oh dear. Azami's martial arts, Azami's scooter. Oh man. No, the scooter represents her days in the gang, yeah. Zami, I don't think you forgot Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, child? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his- Oh yeah, that's right! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. Huh? 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 I saw it when we first met. Writing his name on her vehicle like that, she loves him, I'm sure of it. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, Charlize, my name isn't... I saw it with my own two eyes. When you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws... You're pretty sharp for a human, kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story. You left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. Azami, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks. I've had enough of that. 
You threw me away. And there's nothing that can change that. No, Asami, listen to me. I never threw you away. I... I, I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads. But would, be, would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought, I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. You, I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I saved money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Hosokawa Blaster! Your eyes look like they did back then. Azami, enough girl talk. Marry me. Of course. <laughs> so good. Oh, this kid is fucking great. Wait, what the fuck? What? Wait, no, no, it's not over yet. Stop the credits. <laughs> what is this? This is supposed to be a story of my romance, not theirs. Oh, so good. Who did that? Who started the ending scene? Jeez, it's like breaking the fourth wall. I love it. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urushara. Yes, a little excitement here and there is not a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. I wonder if my life is richer now. No doubt it is. Well then, a few more hours till we close, Miss Chow. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Those who want to see others. Those who want to be seen. The soothing mecca of for all such people. Torimi Cafe. Poco's Forest. What a great plug. Oh my god. What? Tea next to chattering birds. Is this a real place in Japan? No way. No way. This cannot be a real place in Japan. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Curry rice to die for. Is that a really a place? Oh my god, it is! Oh my god, it is! I'm gonna come here one day. I gotta come here one day. This is good. In Pokonomori Spice Building 3 214, Shironochi Dori Nada Kobe, Japan. Oh, Kobe? Oh, whoa. Holy shit, I gotta check this out. Right in the middle of Kobe, just a little ways from Osaka. Oh, shit. And if you still haven't had your fill of Avian Company, the zoo is just around the corner. The excellent, fantastic Torimi Cafe. The birds are waiting here for you. As of September 2011, please check the website for more recent information. Okay, I'll do that. I shall be waiting here in my birdcage for you. Oh my god. Is that how he got these... The is that how the creator of this game got the picture? Taking a photo of like the actual birds? Oh, that's so cool! Carve it into your soul, kid! Love Blaster. <laughs> I said the game isn't over yet! 